Hello my loves, your favorite fabulous fairy here and uh, from client requests, we are going to go and talk about Epsom salt. So if this was you, this client or this video is because of you. So say thank you to whoever asked for Epsom salt. There's a noisy bird up in that tree. Noisy bird. It's got some babies or something. It. It keeps getting attacked by things. I even had a hawk go after it the other day, and it, it was really noisy then. So anyways, I apologize for that, but you know it is what it is. I am a fairy after all. We can't keep the wildlife out. It would just, it wouldn't do. So, what is Epsom salt? Is it even salt? Actually, no. It's compounded of magnesium and sulfate. It comes from a spring in England that I think is called Surrey, England, in Epsom's Surrey, England. And, and it's a bitter, sal uh, bitter saline, <laughs> a bitter saline spring. So um, that is where they get it from. So it's a naturally occurring mineral. Um, it's good for so much stuff. What can you do with Epsom salts? So let's find out. Epsom salts eases stress, relieves uh, pains in the body, cramping. If you're a sports person, if you've been you know, working out too much, you're getting really nice and sore. Maybe you have some bruises. Maybe you pulled some muscles, you sprained something. Um, it absorbs through the skin. So taking a bath in it, epic. <laughs> epic for Epsom salt. Um, so you can definitely bathe in it, and it's going to help to sink in and relieve that. Um, it can help uh, make insulin more insulin more effective. So if you're somebody who's diabetic and you're taking insulin, uh, bathing in Epsom salts can actually improve uh, the function of your insulin. So that's kind of awesome. It can help you with constipation. I believe you, you actually drink a small amount of it for the constipation. Go ahead and do your own research on that. I'm not a doctor. I'm just, you know, we all get our information from the internet somewhere or from books. So, you know, take your own discretion on that. But it can help eliminate toxins from your body and I will say this back when I used to drink I would take an Epsom salt bath the day after I was all you know hung over and because I don't ever get sick the night of but I got sick the next day and it really would help to just ease everything just make me feel like it pulled the toxins from my body which it actually can do it's not just in your head that it does that it actually can do that it can help prevent uh, blood clots and arteries so if you're somebody who maybe doesn't get around too often, uh, you're in a wheelchair, or uh, you're just not very mobile, taking a bath in Epsom salts or even just soaking your feet in Epsom salts can really, really, really help to uh, reduce all of that. Um, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> My notes. Ding. Okay, anyways. Um, so, magnesium helps to regulate over 325 enzymes in the body, helping to reduce inflammation, helping muscles and nerve functions, etc., etc. So, that's super epic. So, when it goes in, it's not just looking for one thing to fix. It's trying to actually help balance and regulate your entire body. Can you have too much Epsom salts? Hmm, that's debatable. They actually use Epsom salts for um, floating in a dark tank, and they put, like, pounds and pounds of this Epsom salts in this water to help you float so I don't think that there's an overdoing it as far as externally however I wouldn't take too much internal Epsom salts drinking it is a whole different animal in itself so make sure you you know really do your research on that when you when you're taking it internally um two to three teaspoons in the basin of water and soak for 30 minutes you know, like soak whatever part of the body that hurts you if you have gout uh, take the water as hot as you possibly can take if you're somebody who suffers from gout all over your entire body bathing in epsom salts obviously you're going to want more than two to three teaspoons i would do like two cups um like minimum you can obviously up it there's no putting too much Epsom salts in your water. So that's super good. Um, if you're somebody who suffers from this, you might not be able to take the water too, too hot because that can uh, maybe cause you discomfort, but it will help the Epsom salts to sink into your body and open up your pores. So that's why we're asking that you take the water as hot as you possibly can stand. Again, if you have bruises and strains, go ahead and soak for, you know, whatever the, the area is. If it's kind of hard to get you know your shoulder or whatever um, you could do a hot compress and that's where you make up a solution and you pray you know prep pray it you press it you press it onto the spot that hurts so you go ahead and put it just right on the spot that hurts and you leave it there for like 20 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes okay it can be used to uh, exfoliate dead skin now you can use this on your face however I'm gonna say 
be cautious whenever you're using a really like thick grain of anything on your face because your face is super delicate and we don't want to disrupt that skin. So if I was going to use Epsom salt on my face, I would consider maybe possibly grinding some up in, with a mortar pestle and then adding that um, to my scrub um, as like another form of a scrub adding it to um, my face wash or you know different oils and things like that I would I would do it that way I wouldn't just like straight the the big chunk like it is in the bag onto your face I don't think that that's a good idea however for exfoliating the body I think it's completely fine this the size that it comes out of the bag so for exfoliating the body you can do it in a you know your own kind of uh, mixture of oils which is probably what I'm going to end up doing because you know I'm an oil junkie and then I could add my essential oils my doTERRA I can add that in there too or um, you could do it into a honey you could add it into a uh, um, not a lotion but like a liquid body scrub kind of that kind of thing let's see So you can use that as a hair volumizer. Now for that, they were saying you literally take it, you mix, you mix. Gosh, what is up with me today? I think it's a little bird up there, bird. Anyways, you mix half and half equal parts deep conditioner and Epsom salts. Now you're gonna get that on the stove until it's warm. After it's warm, not hot, not boiling, not bubbling, not cooked, just warm. You're gonna put it on your head and you're gonna leave it for like 20 minutes. Then you're gonna like wash it out and that's gonna give you some volume. I I don't know if I'm about trying that. Maybe I will later. If you guys like comment below when I get like 20 comments saying, yeah, try the volumizer, then I'll try it. But you know, comments are hard to come by on my channel. So no worries about that. I have no, even with like 200 of you guys, so not worried about it. I really know it's not going to happen. If it does happen, I will do it. I'll make good with my thing. Let's see. It's a, a hand wash. I would, I'm going to actually make a hand wash. I was thinking about that because I do a lot of, um, you know, crafts and things like that. So sometimes I'll have paint or charcoal, uh, dyes, all kinds of stuff seeps into your hands and it's really hard to get out. If you have ever worked on a car or ever been with somebody who works on a car, you know, been into an automobile shop, you'll sometimes find this orange wash and it's like, it smells like oranges. Sometimes it's white. Sometimes it's like tan or peachy color. It's got little grit in it. And it, it smells really, really good. It's kind of moisturizing and it takes stuff off. I have a feeling I can do that with this. I'm going to use Epsom salts. Um, I think right now all I have is coconut oil, but that's okay. I'm going to do some coconut oil and maybe some Jehovah oil. I mean, as like my big base. I'm out of avocado. Avocado is my favorite. And I'm also out of almond. But it's okay. I'll use the, uh, the coconut oil. And we'll either add some Jehovah or some rosehip or some... Um, argan oil something nice in it to make it a little bit more luxurious because you know i'm all about the luxury then i'm also got orange oil coming but i don't have time to wait for it so i'm going to do grapefruit oil which is going to work just fine and i'm going to add a little bit of lemon so it's going to be a really awesome smelling citrusy um and i'm going to add just a little bit of this a eucalyptus mint gel like already pump gel kind of wash stuff to add the little bit of bubble to it. I think it's really, really going to work. It's going to be awesome. Um, you can use this to help feed your house plants because most plants need magnesium and sulfate. So a little sprinkle here and there, uh, feed your garden. You can feed your lawn. You can make your, your, keep your grass green this way. It works as a pesticide against bugs. So if you want to keep slugs away, you can put a little trail around your, your vegetables. It's not going to hurt your vegetables, but it's going to keep bugs away. Um, you can put it around your house as a barrier. It's, it's completely versatile. Let's see if I have any other little things. Yep, keep your lungs, spray your bugs. Uh, oh, you can use it to clean out detergent uh, for your washing machine. So like if your washing machine is so built up, you can put it in there and use it like a detergent and it will clean out all of the stuff that's stuck in it and now your washing machine is gonna work better. Um, my favorite thing also is, like I said, to bathe with this. So I'm gonna show you how I make a bath salt. And yeah, we'll, we'll get started with that. Eee! Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is your uh, blue calcite. So hopefully you stop beeping up everything you try to say. Just kidding. Now, seriously, I have G Jimmy rigged this camera. I've got wire in my plant wrapped to the thing, wrapped around the tablet and holding it propped up. So we're hoping for the best right now. And hopefully it stays up. And we're going to do... Um, 
get these get these projects going so first thing we're gonna need is a little bowl we're gonna do the hand one first so I just got myself a little itty bitty jar I don't know if you can see this you're like oh your nasty ass fingernails I know okay whatever but like okay little tiny jar boom all right we just need a small one and this is gonna be for um, basically our hand wash first thing we're gonna want is some salt or magnesium and sulfate and then because I want enough to fit, I'm just going to take my little jar that's clean and carve out basically enough to like fill the jar. It's like as I'm carving it out, it's just like. Okay, so I have it nearly full. So you don't waste. Pour it in there. And break up any little clumps. You could totally use gloves if you're making it for someone else. I probably would, but this is for me, so I don't care. Ah! And you get shot in the face by your coconut oil. All right, live action, everybody. Now we're gonna wanna make this just wet. My little silver spoon here. Not like super wet, just kind of wet. Excuse me. So I gotta say, I'm not usually a fan of like store-bought soaps and things like that, but my friend gave me this. Shout out to Corey. Corey and Snacks, what's up? Anyways, uh, it's from Bath and Body Works and it's Eucalyptus Mint. She actually read me perfect because I do like the Eucalyptus Mint stuff from Bath and Body Works. Um, and so to just add like a little bit of the cleansing qualities that we'd want from soap a couple squirts of that in there all right not too much it's probably like a tablespoon and we're gonna mix that up like we're looking for kind of like a gel consistency so that's pretty much perfect now um, to spice it up a little bit I've got some argan oil I'm just gonna give a nice little nice little dribble of that in there bring up the luxuriousness so help uh you know not just clean our hands but keep them from drying out and then you know i've got a rep doTERRA so i didn't have orange i've got orange coming but you know i couldn't wait actually why i can't wait is because i'm doing as many videos as i can today and tomorrow to get ready for the next month because my tablet i broke like i don't know six months ago the screen's cracked my warranty's coming up i need to hurry up and put it in so i'll still be available for readings but as far as like diys and stuff my videoing ability might be kind of limited so i'm trying to like get it done so you guys don't get wild orange instead you get grapefruit and i'm gonna do lemon these are gonna clean anything off your hand lemon itself is such a powerful cleaner um, this is going to be just as good. Now, I'm going to do 10 drops. You do not need 10 drops. <laughs> if you're a sensitive skin, maybe do less drops. Um, and then I'm going to do five of the of the grapefruit. Oh, I got seven. Whatever. Well, screw it. I'll do 10. Well, 11. All right, whatever. Way, way more and I'm, uh, than you probably need. But it's it's completely... I'm, I'm used to it, okay? Like, my skin doesn't get bad with oils at all. I'm just going to kind of balance it out a little bit more. Maybe just a pinch more salt now. Take a little girl pinch of it. That one chunk new. But yeah, so I mean, if your skin's like super sensitive, less drops, if whatever. Um, I just really know that that orange oil stuff, the reason why it works is because that orange, or that lemon or the orange, you know, it cuts through. So um, lemon's going to do that too. And so is a grapefruit. Anyway, so that's what it is. And then you would just use this like a hand scrub. Oh, it smells so good. And we will try that later. I'll see if I can rig up the camera in there. And then you just put it in your little container. And because we pre-measured it in the container and left a little bit of room, we should be able to get it all in there and not have to worry about really wasting anything. 
which I am pro not wasting anything. So I could have maybe made a little bit more, but that's pretty good. Mmm, it smells freaking op- Ugh, opic. It smells opic. Wow, your calcite's really working, Shayna. Good lord. Put it in my lap. Alrighty then. Alright, and then on to the next one. Yeah, so I was totally gonna try to like hold it in the sink and like show you guys me using it, but I have to like stick the tablet here and then like put it on my boobs and like try to lean forward and hope that I'm getting the shot and also hope that I'm not dropping my tablet that already has a crack in it so I don't make it worse. So that was like way too much stress. So, you know, you just get a before and after. So I put some um, makeup, that's eyeliner. Um, that's actual just regular pen. That's like um, just like some black makeup and some like uh, eyeshadow, right? So I've got my little my little crap right here. Let's see. My little crap. I'm getting some in my hand. I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, it like instantly takes off the makeup. Let me see about the pen. Taking off the pen too, it doesn't take it off as quickly, but it did take it off. There's a little bit left. Not bad. Actually, it feels really good. It's definitely exfoliating. I'm gonna do the other side too. Mm, yay. Smells really, really good. Mm. Actually, my hands look like crap all the time. I like never take care of my hands. I'm always working with my hands. So. I'm excited for this. All right, let's give it a rinse. Oh, so soft. Try them off. Mmm, super soft. Looks nice. Never mind my fingernails, but my hands feel soft. The skin looks nice. It definitely took off that layer of like dry rough looking stuff i would definitely use this on the rest of my body um i wouldn't use it on my face still because it's kind of a, a hard grit but i could definitely see grounding up some of this epsom salts and making myself a scrub just like this for my face that would totally work out so i love this i hope you guys like this um please leave a comment below let me know what you think let me know if you want me to try the little volumizer things i'm only gonna do it if you guys comment that you want it that's the only way it's happening Okay, we're back and this time we're doing bath salts. So this is the jar that I'm gonna put my bath salts in. Ooh, ah, glittery, thank you. And yes, it's a, it was glass paint. You can get like the folk art brand. You can just paint it on and it can clear in 20, or clear, cure in 28 days. Or it, um, you know, you can fire it in the oven and you do that by basically like, no metal of course, you just leave it in there and you start off with it cold you let it heat up, you let it do its baking time, and then you let it cool off completely in the oven, and then it's permanently on there. So, um, that's what I did to this, I don't know, a while ago. No DIY for that video, but, I mean, maybe I will later. And, um, yeah, this is what I'm going to put it in. So, kind of again, we just want to make sure that we have enough to go in it. My Epsom salts that I bought kind of came in a big rock, so. And that's fine, because it breaks up nice and easy. I'm not incredibly strong, but I'm strong enough to break this stuff up, so. We're just going to want to get enough to go in the jar. Then you want to get it all over the place if you can, like I'm doing, because of this rock. I'm just going to pull this out. what planning in advance gets you people okay there's that part put the chunk back and the other chunk back yeah at least that helps deter bugs because i'll tell you what out here on the patio we get those water bugs and um 
we spray and stuff, but I would prefer not to spray. I would prefer to do something natural. So if that can naturally really get rid of them, I'm all for it. And knowing I can rinse it off and it goes into my plants and I don't have to worry is also a plus. Okay, so we have this. You can totally put just Epsom salts in your bath. You don't have to add anything to it. And you don't have to use as much of this. You could use a cup of it. You could use a fourth of a cup of it. You could use two cups of it. It wouldn't matter. However much you want to add, that's completely up to you. But for my purposes, um, I want a little bit more of a luxurious bath. So I'm just going to, with my hand, kind of go in here and break up any little, you know, clumps that are in there. Work it around. Just knock them all out. And then, after I feel that, okay, there's no more big clumps, I'm going to add a little bit of baking soda. Now, baking soda is also really good as a uh, skin softener. It helps to detoxify. It helps make, you know your pores open up and all of that good stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of lightly sprinkle across the top. That looks good to me. And again, there's a little tiny, if there's any kind of bumps, knock them out. No knots, please. Alrighty then. And you wanna mix this together real quick before we add any wet ingredients. What ingredients to your bath salt? Yeah, I know. And actually, I have one more dry ingredient, too, because I need it in my life. And if you guys know me, you know I'm kind of sadly addicted to glitter. That's okay, though. So this is all-natural mica, okay? Pure pigment. Beautiful. Eee! And I'm just going to put a little drizzle of this on here. Definitely don't need much. And mix that beauty in there. Already looks a lot more luxurious. You're just like, woo, gold. Oh, the glitters is gold. And I don't know. I just really love glitter. And this is going to leave just a really fine powdered shimmer on me. It's not going to be a lot of glitter. It's going to be a really fine, like, ooh, did you just get done tanning? And the answer will be, of course not. <laughs> I avoid the sun at all costs. So, no, that's not entirely true. I like going in the sun. I just don't like staying in the sun. That is definitely not my gig definitely get overheated so let's see once it gets pretty well mixed in there I'm gonna go to my wet ingredients so for my bath I'm choosing geranium doTERRA of course melaleuca and clary sage so this bath is all gonna be about my skin to start off I'm gonna put a little well right here and I'm gonna fill up let's see that's like a big tablespoon let's go like that's like three big tablespoons of oil and then I'm gonna drip right in the middle there was five drops of geranium which is probably hella but I mean that's fine and I did do ten of well I think eleven came out but of the melaleuca because melaleuca is basically like a vacuum cleaner to your body it goes in it's a cell receptor cleaner it says, oh, hey, you're not supposed to be there, and it sucks it out. And that makes room for the other oils to go in and say, okay, we're going to go in and replace it with something healthy and beautiful. So that's where geranium and the clary sage come in. Clary sage is a hot oil. Don't use clary sage without using a carrier oil. A carrier oil is any kind of oil, like coconut oil, olive oil, such and such. Oh, my gosh, this smells so good. <sighs> Is she going to take a bath after this, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. Yes, I am. So, I'm just going to mix this up. Now, we're not looking for everything to be like, oh, completely wet. We're just kind of damp. It's going to be like almost damp sand consistency. You're not going to be able to build a sand castle with it, but it's going to have a little bit of moisture there. So, what I would use this for is just in my bath. I would use anywhere, like I said, from a fourth of a cup to a whole cup if you wanted to get really crazy you could do two cups but this jar should last you for a while um if you take baths all the time you might you know go through it quicker than somebody else but if you're somebody who just kind of uses them as a treat perfect if you want to make this for somebody who you know just really loves baths and it's just like kind of comparable to a bath bomb if you wanted it to be fizzy the difference would be you would have had added 
um, citric acid to it or what's the other one cream of tartar but honestly of the two I always prefer citric acid over cream of tartar when it comes to bath bombs because citric acid it it basically f fizzies like bubbles and the cream of tartar kind of poofs off in this little soft poofy thing so there is a difference of them the oils in this is going to basically help our skin just to be nice and soft. Um, if they're going to soak in better because of the Epsom salts, it's going to help open our skin up to receive these oils um, along with the essential oils. And they're going to go in to help remove any kind of toxins, uh, add, you know, clarity to the skin. If you have discoloring, it could help with scarring. If you have a really big problem with scars, I would add lavender because that's definitely good. And so is frankincense. But all in all, this is going to be epic. So then you're just going to take it and you're going to try to not spill it everywhere. If you have a funnel, that's epic. Or just shovel it on into your little jar and then get ready for your bath. And then that's all that this is. Eee! Can you see the glitter? No, you can't because my tablet doesn't want to focus. Well, shit. It's pretty epic though. I am liking it. Loving it. Love you all.